hello all and welcome back in this video i am going to show you how best you can convert any plain text details into beautiful looking powerpoint presentation like this this presentation is all about the myths and facts about covid 19 vaccination and is beautified using few images and png icons which are inbuilt in office 365 You can clearly see how impactful this presentation is and of course the animations and the transitions will make it a jaw dropping presentation on a serious note the data used in this video tutorial is just for the sake of presentation so without wasting much time let's get started with all the necessary details on hand let's first enable the guides and then enter into slide master to prepare our standard layout delete all the existing placeholders at the bottom then go to insert placeholder and then choose picture placeholder starting from top left corner draw it in a square shape holding down shift key until two units as shown let's create a duplicate by dragging it holding down control key and place it along the lower right corner as shown Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape holding down shift key. Remove its outline and increase its transparency to see through. Now drag and place the circle shape inside the placeholder aligning it along the two sides as shown. Let's create a duplicate of this circle and place it inside the other placeholder again aligning it along the two sides. Next select each pair of placeholder and its circle shape then intersect them together to get the placeholders in pie section shape. That looks perfect. Finally go to slide master and then close the master view. Now right click and then create a new slide. By default it will apply the layout which we have created just now if in case this new layout is not applied we can still go to the layout option on the top then select our new layout and apply it let me quickly copy and paste the color schemes and then start designing this slide first and foremost format the background with solid color and let's choose the color using eye dropper tool next using the browse option in picture placeholder Select the picture as per your requirement and insert it into the first picture placeholder. To align this image properly, let's enable the crop option and then adjust the image to fit it properly. Follow the same steps and then add a image into second picture placeholder. Second picture is perfectly aligned I guess. Next select the first picture placeholder and apply inner shadow effect. Reduce the transparency to 20%. and increase the blur value to 20 points similarly apply inner shadow effect to second picture placeholder with same transparency and blur values now create two new horizontal guides and place them at two units on either side these guides will act as reference to place our circle shapes Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape holding down control and shift keys its center must be the intersecting point between the picture placeholder and the horizontal guide remove its outline and change its fill color using eye dropper tool now duplicate this circle using control plus d change its outline color to white and then make it no fill Also change its outline weight and dash tap as per your requirement. Drag and align it over the original circle shape and then slightly increase its size by dragging it holding down control and shift keys. Next select the center circle shape and then apply outer shadow effect. reduce the transparency to 20% and increase the blur value to 20 points 
This time, select both the circles and drag them holding down Ctrl key to create the duplicate and then place it on the second picture placeholder. Next copy and paste myth and fact text field and then format it as per your requirement of font type, font color, font size and then align it to middle. Place this text field centrally to both the circle groups as shown. Now copy and paste the first set of myth and fact text fields and making use of format painter, format them using same existing text format. Reduce their size, align and then place them as per the design requirement. Next copy and paste the virus PNG icon, change its fill color and create the duplicates to place them at different positions as shown, change their sizes if required. That looks perfect. And that completes our slide design. Before proceeding to next slides, let's animate all the shapes so that we don't have to repeat it again and again. Selecting the first picture placeholder, go to more entrance effect and then apply compress animation. Next select both the circle shapes and its center text field, then apply zoom animation. Start them after previous and maintain the delay duration of 0.25 seconds between all these three animations. Let's see the preview once. That looks perfect. Next select the dotted circle shape. Go to add animation option and then apply spin animation. Start it with previous and drag it towards the extreme possible left position. Increase the duration to 4 seconds and then under the effect options, repeat it until the end of slide. Apply wipe animation to text field and then change the direction from left. Start it with previous and increase the delay duration to 0.75 seconds. Now apply similar set of animations to second picture placeholder and its text fields. The only difference will be the direction of wipe animation will be from right. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Next steps are a bit important. Duplicate the second slide. Select the first picture placeholder and then under the picture format tab, change its image using the from file option. If the new image is not perfectly aligned, just enable the crop option and then align it properly. Similarly follow the same steps and then change the image of second picture placeholder. Finally, 
replace the details of myth and fact text fields and then align them properly. Remember, we don't have to animate any of these shapes because they will remain as it is. Let's continue to duplicate the second slide, replace the images, align them properly and then update the myth and fact text field values. Follow the same steps until all the details are covered. Finally, we will create the cover slide for our presentation. Let's create the new slide and then change its layout style. Delete all the text placeholders and then insert the cover image of your choice. Increase the size to fit it perfectly into the slide. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape covering the entire image. Remove its outline and then format it with two step radial gradient. Change the gradient direction and match the right side stop color with background color. Adjust the gradient stops as shown and then increase the transparency of left side stop color to 100%. Finally, add the title text and format it as per your font style, font size and font color. That looks perfect. Last but not the least, delete the first slide and then delete the color schemes from all other slides. Now select the slides from 2 to 6. Go to transitions and then apply fly through transition. That's it. So here is the final preview of this beautiful design and its animation. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.